Okay, so we have come to video number four and we are finally going to look at rules panes and how to use that. We have this uh, example site here which has some kind of project management tools. We have only one task right now and we're going to tweak this page here that displays the, uh, the task. Uh, I'm going to use panels here. Bum, bum, bum. And um, we can on the right side here add some components here when rules panes is enabled we have a rules section here click that and you will see all our rules components here uh, available so I can for example add this called mark as done the component we created and uh, rules panes recognizes that this has a uh, this uh, component has a parameter and it asks what do we want to use as the task here I'm going to use the node being viewed and, and instead the, the button text instead of just execute I'm going to call it mark as done finish update and save this will yeah all right so we have a kind of double text here let's change that later on uh, this is already set to down so let's end this uh, task right now and set it to say waiting or something. Save. Now when I click done here, mark is done, uh, the component will be executed on this node and it uh, is being marked as done again. Kind of useful. Let's edit this panel and add a few more things here. Let's start by changing the settings for this pane and override the title to have nothing at all there. There. And then we add some more stuff, rules, mark blocked, overwrite title, mark blocked. Oh, and I forgot to, to set the context here. Uh, the task should be the node being viewed. Let's add a few more. Mark cancelled. Bum, 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 bum. Mark as cancel. Cancel task, perhaps. And let's have this one as well. Set task priority. That's kind of interesting. This one has two parameters the node being viewed and then the priority, which is an integer. And there are no integer um, contexts in this uh, page, on this page. So we can't send anything here. So this will we'll have to use no context. Uh, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, that'll do. Let's actually just shift back and forth between some tabs here so we don't end up on the uh, task page when we save. That. And I reload this page instead because I'm going to go back and forth quite a bit. So now I can, with one single click, mark this task as blocked. Whoop, blocked. Or cancel. Or I can set task priority to, say, 1. Set priority. And there it is. And you see this parameter here that is not pre populated uh, by uh, Page Manager. Um, is exposed as a form that we fill in here. Now that's uh, that's kind of it. We'll see in the next um, video how to use this and, and have um, well a more cool example, I think. Um, let's yeah okay. So we'll have a look at that example in the next video.